A cloud of dust, a few chunks of sheetrock, and voila, a burglar appears and proceeds to cause considerable damage to the Ambrosia restaurant in the Montrose area. It's a shocker that somebody would take advantage in this time. Alana Kundu and her husband spent considerable time and effort working toward their dream of owning a restaurant. We were doing really good the last, say, um, three, four months. We were beating last year's sales. COVID-19 reversed that good fortune. The business is now only open part of the week for takeout and curbside deliveries. We're just trying to pay bills and figure out a way to pay people and stuff like that. It's been very tough. Police say 61-year-old David Quigley took advantage of that. He broke our AC. Um, I think he fell on it or I don't know what happened. It's going to be around six, 7,000. And that doesn't include the ceiling damage. Just to get a couple bottles of liquor and maybe a few hundred dollars in the register. Police say Quigley was caught trying to hide in an empty building next door. Since the COVID-19 pandemic washed over Houston, police say they've seen a 29% increase in burglary of a building cases. Businesses have been uh, shut down now for quite a few weeks uh, due to the stay-at-home order. Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo. Crooks know that uh, there's no one there, and so we, we really attribute a big part of that to the fact that uh, no one's working in these facilities. Burglaries are not the only problem. Aggravated assaults are up 9% since the middle of March, and domestic violence is up 1.3%. People are cooped up, they've lost their jobs, there's no income coming in, a lot of pressures. Acevedo expects the domestic violence numbers will likely change after assault cases are more thoroughly reviewed. The chief says historically 38% of assault cases are tied to domestic violence. Since the pandemic started, it's about 50%. What are you hearing on your hotline? We are seeing a 40% spike in our hotline calls for domestic violence. Are you seeing an increase in the number of calls for shelter as well? Yeah, so more people are asking for shelter, which tells us that people um, are living in situations that are becoming intolerable. Houston Area Women's Center CEO Emily Whitehurst says times of natural disaster always bring a spike in domestic violence, like the Houston area saw following Hurricane Harvey. A new public awareness campaign and website, NoCovidAbuse.org, hopes to stop that spike from growing. So like we're trying to flatten the coronavirus curve, we're trying to flatten the domestic violence curve. There are some bright spots. Murders, robberies, and home burglaries have seen decreases during the pandemic. Acevedo is still worried, however, about what budget cuts will do to an apartment thin on manpower as it is. Mayor Sylvester Turner says several cadet classes will likely have to be postponed due to lost revenue. At the end of the day, there's only so much you can squeeze out of a police department. And right now, we're, you know, the public needs us to make lemonade and we're down to the grind, not even the lemon peel. That public awareness campaign we mentioned, we have more details on exactly what that entails and a link to the no COVID abuse website on our website, click to Houston.com. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.